Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to make our way through the big buzzy beehive. story for you guys so back when I was a kid you know me and some friends were having a squirt gun fight you know, water guns whatever you want to call them and we were sitting there running around the pool we had like an above ground pool growing up we were sitting there uh, just shooting each other with the water guns and all of a sudden like I felt like something on my arm I was like ah, I kept just you know like shaking my arm off and you know, we were having you know, still having a squirt gun fight can't be like pause you know none of that shit so anyway, um, eventually I like look down and there is a fucking swarm. Oh fuck, I don't like that at all. There is a swarm of like hornets. Give me this. By my arm. And apparently in the middle of said squirt gun fight, we had hit a hornet nest that was underneath the, uh, the lip of the pool. Freaked the fuck out. I was like, oh my god, there's so many bees. Threw down the water gun, ran, jumped in the pool. I swear to god, I've never held my breath so long in my entire life. I hid underwater for what felt like a fucking minute. And then after that, I basically had a vendetta moving forward against bees. Anytime I saw bees... Anytime I saw bees in the backyard after that, I had this uh, big-ass wiffle bat. It was like, it was supposed to be like a piggy bank, basically. Like, it was a big red plastic uh, wiffle bat, but it was hollow and you could put coins in it. And I'd run up beat the shit out of the bees. And when I say bees, I'm talking like hornets, wasps, I'm not running around murdering bumblebees. But, I mean, fuck bees. Oh, you little dickhead. You know what, I haven't been back to the dream lady in a while. I would bet the dream lady has some shit for me. Cause I'm sitting cozy, I'm like 600. Hardened tribe, light familiar. Anyway, moral of the story is fuck bees. Chungus over here. of the bees. I 
I fucking knew there was an entrance over here. God damn it. Except you had to break it from this way. What charms do I have on? I feel like this is a very odd... Okay, now I do have my combat set up. that thing does a lot of damage. If that's doing that much damage, man, I feel like if I had the mage set on, that thing would absolutely obliterate everything. shit to spend some geo on because I am oh wait a minute oh, okay so this is right next to that room Way too convenient. I gotta get one of those drilly boys. Or a big boy. Big Chungus could probably bop, bop it open. Come here, Big Chungus. that too that is sexy it's over here it's a shortcut out that's like the main hive so I can use that to get back to my uh, place sooner a bench Oh my god. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. 
Ooh. Yo, yo. Chungus bees do not fuck around. I need some of the little ones to get my, uh, my spirit back with. Five, six. It's probably enough to go into this. Man, it's obvious that we have a boss coming up. Queen B. Open the doors. I'm here to steal all your honey. It's a bee night. Oh, okay. You're kind of quick. expected on a fight um all right I'm, 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 this is gonna be good so i got spell twister i got shaman soon uh oh quick heal this is a pretty stacked set for fighting bosses i got the extra extra soul gain i got cheaper spells i have more powerful spells That's right, the bench was at like the very base of things, so. I wanna go up. I wonder if there's a different bench. Uh, wait, no. Wait, yes. actually going to be faster, I think. So I can just come in from here. I wonder if there is a different rest spot. So is the cast off shell spot. No. I think, um, well, no, yeah, this is the, probably the best. And from here, I just go down, up, and then straight to the right. take me pretty much straight there. I don't know if this is a good idea, but now, this is the Chungus Ooh. room, right? Yeah, 
There we go. No, I'll go in with this. Oh, God. One. I thought that killed him. I heard the boo. I was like, yeah, he's dead. Nope, just kidding. He's not. All right. Let me take off casting. Let's put on quick slash. Ooh. Um. Mm. There we go. I don't think I had quick heal on our very first fight. And this isn't like this fight, it honestly, it feels a little bit like Hornet. So if I can take down Hornet, I should be able to take down this guy. I'd say the most annoying part right now is just the run back. Actually, given how annoying this run back is, I might just give this guy like one more try and if I don't get it, um, just go to the next zone. Because there's that other boss that we've marked that I haven't fought yet. Um, um, kind of what I'm thinking is like, there, I mean, there's, there's another nail upgrade that I can get. So. Basically, attempt the boss, can't beat him, continue with progression, get the nail upgrade, and then call it a day. Oh, 
Oh my god. Precious Heart of Nectar heals the bear's wounds over time, allowing them to regain health without focusing soul. That sounds really fucking OP. Kinda wanna I'm wondering what charms I'm missing, but at the same time, I feel like I might find something in Queen's Garden, so I don't just want to go through all the charms, but at the same time, I'm like, man, I'm 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 at the the like the end. You know, let's do that. Instead of the, the fast heal, we're going to do for the free heal. Because I think that would be good because I can just, if it just heals over time, I just need to focus on fucking dodging and it'll heal. That sounds dope. Because I could do that and then I could focus my soul on uh, just blasting the shit out of stuff with that. And then... Uh, Swarm. And actually, so you know, I want to see how many... Uh, I think I'm at max charm notches. Charm notches. How many charm notches? 11 charm notches to find in my... Salubra, I got the four from him. Fog Canyon, I got. Shrumo Orgers, I got at the start. Coliseum of Fools. And then... Grim back in Dirtmouth, that, which that's one of the DLCs. Um, and actually, here's a list of charms, so we can just go through them, see what I'm missing. So, Compass, Swarm Shell, um, right after Shaman Stone, there's Soul Eater, greatly increase the amount of soul gain when striking an enemy with the nail. So it's just a upgrade to Soul Catcher. Use Desolate Dive on the Grave under the Stag Station in the resting grounds. Okay. Um, after Grub Song, there is... Actually, hang on. The, they go out of order after that. Soul Eater. No, Dash Master. Thorns of Agony. I got Fury of the Fallen. When close to death, the bear's strength will increase. King's Pass behind a spiky cavern. Never found that. Fragile Heart. Unbreakable Heart. Fragile Greed. Unbreakable Greed. All right, that's... You upgrade these... Uh, Spell Twister, Steady Body, scrolling this list down, uh, Heavy Blow, then we get Heavy Blow, we got Steady Body and Heavy Blow, got Quick Slash, and Long Nail, and Mark of Pride, we got Balder's Shell, Fluke Nest and Defenders, we got Womb, Quick Focus, Deep focus. The bear will focus soul at a slower rate, but the effect will double. No, it sounds like ass. Lifeblood heart. Lifeblood core. When resting, the bear will gain a coating of lifeblood. Collect at least 15 lifeblood masks and enter a cave on the left wall of the abyss. Oh, that's... So I think I need to have a bunch of them and make my way over there and I get it, maybe? Grub Song, High Blood, Spore. Let me scroll this list down. See what else I'm missing. Uh, High Blood Spore Shroom. Sarp Shadow, Shape of Moon I got. Nail Master's Glory. 
Increase the bear's mastery of nail arts, allowing them to focus their power faster and unleash sooner. Get all nail arts from nail masters and get it from Sly. Dream wielder, 500 essence. We got that. Uh, King Soul. King Soul comes in two parts. Queen's Gardens, skip that. Void Heart. Get the King Soul and go back to the Abyss. Dream Shield. Conjure a shield that follows the bearer and attempts to protect them. Break a wall in the resting grounds beneath the seer. Weaver Song, Sprint Master. Contain. What is this? Grim Child. Worn by Willows, take pass in the Grim Troops ritual. Seek the Grimkin and collect their flames. Summon Grim Troop and you'll get this from Grim. Carefree Melody contains a song of protection that may defend the bearer from damage. Banish the Grim Troop and meet Nim and Dirtmouth. So, a couple of those are related to the Grim thing, which I know that's DLC. Um, there are quite a few in the resting grounds I could get. It sounds like the Dream Shield was a resting ground one. Um, resting. Yeah, so there's the Soul Eater which I don't think I'd use anyway. And then the Dream Shield. Dream Shield is Wall Beneath the Seer. And the other one is Grave Under the Stag. I might go pick those up. Just because, you know, why not? Now that we're done this place, it's like... Whoa. My life is fucking weird looking now. So what do I have on exactly? I went for a caster build, Shaman Shun Spell Twister. And then this thing. I have shiny gold healths. So let's see. Oh my god, these little things don't actually hurt you. I've been murdering them all this time. I'm so sorry, little honeybees. I, I did not know. Actually, you know what? Oh, no, they, they hurt. What the hell? So it looks like honey fills it back up. That's not bad. It took like what? 10, 10 seconds? Oh, the other one hasn't started filling at all yet. or just can it only fill up the most recently lost health. Where do I want to go? I want a... Yeah, because I'm going to go Palace Grounds, and then I'm going to go over to the Resting Grounds place and pick those up, I think. I don't know. I don't need them. They both sound like shit I wouldn't use, but I might as well get them, so let's... Um, either way, but we'll take this over to the Palace, and then I can warp over to Resting Grounds. I'll pick those up, and then... Um, <laughs> Go to the Queen Station in the next part, I think. Continue on from there. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll wrap on up. Next episode, we'll pick up from the, the resting ground. And uh, we'll catch you guys then.